Hello everyone. Welcome to the new Moon in Gemini report. Before I start chatting and talking too much, I've got my papers, okay? So if I am rustling, please excuse me. Um, as ever, I've got my notes. So the new Moon in Gemini is on the 30th of May, so that's tomorrow. Well, hopefully it's tomorrow, or it's today, depending on when I posted it. The new Moon is actually early, it's on the 30th of May, and normally it's in June. So we do normally have a kind of June energy about it, so it's got a little bit of difference to it because of that energy. It's at 12.30pm British summertime, it's at 4.30am Pacific, and at 7.30 Eastern time. This moon is at nine degrees, which highlights the end of a cycle. Nine in numerology highlights the end of something, okay? We're coming to an ending of some kind. And it also links to the higher order and divinity. Nine's also linked to sort of in numerology, humanitarianism and helping and doing good for others. So that, that's a kind of an interesting one at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> so, what we need to note is that we are still in the, um, we're not in eclipse season, but we're still in the energy of the eclipses for a little while yet. And we're also still in Mercury retrograde. Now, it's not the best time, therefore, to start anything as such. Um, you know, communications, new beginnings and stuff kind of struggle a little bit under that Mercury retrograde energy. People do do it, but of course it's up to them. And I would tend to say, have a little listen to last time's report, the Scorpio report, because I mentioned a bit of what we can do within a Mercury retrograde. So, you know, have a pause space and cultivate the idea that you want to move forward with within this energy. And being that it's a new moon, it's all about intention setting. So it's all about thinking about where you want to go next. Now, the good thing about this is that Gemini energy is so much gentler than the Scorpio energy. We've got that kind of Taurus Scorpio energy still kind of leveling itself out around us but with the gemini energy as well it kind of brings down that harshness okay now gemini is a very sociable warm energy that sign kind of is all about being with people it's about communication you're probably going to feel a lot better now and this will help you to move forward and also to make real practical decisions through inquiry because Gemini will allow you to do that. It's also the energy of manifestation and Gemini is a multitasker being that it's the twins, okay? So you've got that double energy and with the twins there's double, 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 it just keeps doubling. So you get lots of energy with the Gemini energy, okay? You're going to be able to process a great deal at this time and also it means that skills and informations, information can come to you and you can gain more and more clarity during this time. It's also a time for the new. It's time for new, okay? We're really in that. So it's a new moon, it's a new cycle, it's a new beginning. For you, it's time to create plans. Now, I know we get this cycle every month and people will say, well, you know, it happens all of the time. But each of the signs and the planets that come in give different um energy and that different energy gives us a different impetus and a different thing that we can work on so if you cumulatively work through it then you can gain a lot more than if you just sit and let it ride out in a natural way okay so jupiter is also in a strong position and it's highlighting justice there's also um a tight energy between mars and jupiter which is going to help us to move forward it's it's kind of like thinking of a whole new framework right um in which we're going to take action so get really curious about what's open to you this is different this is different because it's about understanding what you could have from a place that you didn't know before so you know finding out and kind of diving into wondering about it okay um also remember that jupiter moved into aries and it's where the energy and impetuous hails from okay because it's going to bring forward a lot of that newness and change now if you look at where aries falls in your chart you'll also be able to understand what it means personally for you um also there's themes from the past playing out because the jupiter return okay so anything that happened around 10 years ago have a look at it and see what's replaying that's happened in your life before and it's happening in your life again, okay? There's about expansion, yeah? And Mars is going to support that because it's going to open the opportunity for new direction, okay? And it's asking you to take action. You're being asked now to push yourself forward. You're being asked 
to find out what you need to know and to actually go into it, right? To actually do that, right? Think of it as an echo. So you're getting an echo from the past. And there's a few echoes in this energy of Gemini. It's a few echoes placing themselves within this energy, giving you the opportunity to try something again or do something a different way, okay? Um, the other thing I would say is you kind of need to think differently this time, all right? Now, let the Aries fiery, forward-moving energy move you out of things that are beyond the sell-by date. It is your chance to step into a new future. This is a new one, not the one that you've known before, not all the things that have happened in your life before. This is newness, okay? This is something different. And this is maybe doing something in a bit of a different way than you've ever done it before as well. Now, we're moving from, obviously, the Taurus season to Gemini. So we're going to get that kind of adaptability. Um, sort of, you know, we're kind of the butterfly, the social butterfly that wants to be engaged with people, that wants to kind of interact with people. Butterfly of Gemini. Gemini is a very sociable sign. It really wants to be with people and to be seen and to be heard because it's a communicator, right? So, you know, the full moon eclipse has shifted the energy and many of us would have been able to let go a little bit. So you're going to probably feel a little bit better than you have been feeling. Um, of course, remember that is staying with us till sort of the end of the year. So that energy is there. Yet with this Gemini, very, very sociable, light energy, it's about being with people and being in the energy of other people. So, you know, it's not so heavy. It's not so secretive, you know, like the Scorpio energy because of that sociability. So what came up for you during the Taurus? Um, we're kind of in that thing of what traumas might have come up? What things may have past hurts things where you felt not so secure what's come up yeah because this new moon says it's time to clear those traumas out so becoming more powerful this is asking you to step into your powerhouse of energy who are you what are you how can you be right it's asking you to clear up create mental closure mental and emotional closure here right so you don't have to spend any more time thinking or even energy thinking about what's happened before because that is not going to whack for you. It's not going to help you in any way. It's asking you this beautiful, beautiful energy of Gemini. The communicator is asking you to master your mind, your mind, right? Remember, it is the sign of communication. It is ruled by Mercury. And remember, Mercury is in retrograde as well. So, you know, be aware of that slight pause. Be aware of the evidence of the fact that although we're in the Gemini energy, Mercury is retrograde. It's its planet. So it's going to ask us to slow that thought down, slow that thought down, slow those ideas down just a little bit. Now, it also highlights, because we're in Mercury retrograde, that there is, we haven't finished adjusting yet, right? We haven't quite finished whatever it is that we need to understand. We haven't got all the pieces of the puzzle. So bring yourself to a space where you're starting to get what the pieces of the puzzle are, what needs closure, what needs to go, so that you can bring in this newness. Because it is new, it's very new, and it's pretty much something you've probably never, ever done before as well. Yeah? So the North Node, North Node, I mean, is at 26 degrees Taurus. Now, if it's the North Node, it's showing you where you're going. So it's where you're going to be going, okay? And in this energy, it's about security, okay? There's a, we're in that sort of midpoint. It's time to change under the energy of Uranus and not hold on to fixed patterns of thinking. So this is not thinking about things in the old way, in the same old way. This is about looking at how we can create security. I can't speak. <laughs> This is about looking at how we create security and abundance from a new space. How can we do this in a new way? Now, Venus is in Taurus, her ruler, and she says that, you know, it's time for a good life. It's time to have what you want. It's also time to be very loving towards the earth and to give to the earth as well. And what also ask questions around what's stopping you from creating freedom dive into deep questions about your life about what's happening about what you can have right now there's also a collaborative element to the gemini energy because it's asking you to get into conversation to find solutions reach out for help now you've got to remember gemini's are twins so it's not just one person it's never one person gemini's is all about doubling doubling up right it's that two heads are better than one analogy coming up and coming up into the mind with the energy of the twins the twins 
need that communication. They need to reach out. They need to understand. They will look for help in order to create that understanding because that's how it's going to be. So that's what's coming up. Feel ready to ask for help when you need it. So you can get the answers so you can make these inroads. These inroads are going to come from that community, that collectiveness, that asking and that sharing, right? But in a nutshell, it is about you feeding your mind with what's right for it. It's very important that you look at that. What are you feeding your mind, right? Because what you are consuming is going to affect how your life becomes created. Because it's it's time to create new intentions. It's time to create from a new space, right? The sun and the moon sort of starts this new energy. It's all about the mind. It's about how you're going to communicate this. It's how are you communicating with others? How are you communicating with yourself and to the universe? How are you talking? What are you saying to yourself in your inner dialogue? What are you saying to the rest of the world? This is about being very, very aware of the way that you're communicating. It's right, okay? Remember, we communicate in more ways than just our speech. <laughs> if it was me, it's with my hands. But, you know, we do communicate with tone. We communicate with the things, the verbal gestures, um, verbal tone, sorry, and hand gestures and body movement. We communicate with the way we move our bodies as we speak. There's a lot more in what we're saying than just our speech, right? So be aware of that. And also remember that Gemini wants to know everything. In order to move forward, Gemini needs and wants to know everything. So that's how you're going to be. You're going to be in a space where you kind of need to really understand this in order to make it a part of your life, in order to move into that new framework, the new understanding and that change. You're only going to be able to do it from that space of deep understanding and that has to be communicated through to you. So Gemini is also about the inner workings, right? Um, like I was saying, you know, about the talking to yourself and stuff, but it's also about the inner rumination. What is repeating within you? What are you ruminating about? What do you keep thinking about? Because Gemini espouses creativity, so you need to remember to focus into your creative element, right? It's linked to social media as well, and the voting system. So keep an eye out there as well, because there's something going on there. Because Gemini is going to bring that up to the surface, right? So the new moon is also a bridge to help you to integrate and incorporate, because it's asking you to shift and to heal so you can move on. All right. In essence, for many of us, this is going to be about changing gear completely. Whatever's been going on, however you've been thinking up until now, and you may have got a little bit of an um, in indication of it in the last month or so, but it's different. It's different to what was before. You're starting to see something in a completely new way, right? Something has to give, and you now are starting to see how you can actually move forward from the space that you've been in, right? So Gemini's fun energy can help you to be questioning and then integrate knowledge um, that's come up over the eclipse season, right? So allow this inner dialogue that you're going to have to take all the parts of yourself in, okay? Which areas of yourself are calling out to be heard? What needs integration still? So what in your body consciousness is calling out and saying to you, I need this? Really hear it and integrate with that, okay? Because Gemini needs that on a very high level. We're all made up of many aspects. And Gemini, star sign, um, and Gemini energy and the Mercury planet really highlights this, okay? It's about knowing which parts of you need love, which parts of you need to be heard, right? And what, 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 you know, what, what can you do for that? What can you do for that? We need to go into that. Now, if anything painful comes or has come up during the eclipse season and during the, the, the next few months, right, you need to kind of think of it differently. You need to start looking at it in a different way because if you keep using the same stuff that you've been using before, this repetitive cycle will repeat again for you, all right? Now, remember we're immutable energy, which increases the ability to flow. So think of the Tao way, okay? Think of... There being no restriction with this energy. You are being asked to be expressive. You know, you're being asked to embrace it all, right? The Mars-Jupiter conjunction is going to propel you to ask what's happening. Geminis are curious. They're very, very curious. And they want to know what's going on. They're very curious, okay? 
as ever, I am going to bring up labels. <laughs> you know what I like about labels. I'm not a fan of labels, right? But are you labeling yourself? What labels are you putting on yourself? Let them go and let the, any go that you've got on other people as well, let labels go. They're not going to work for you right now. They're not going to help you right now. Now, let this beautiful new moon bring lightness energy into your body, into your system, into your mind, all right? Allow life to make you feel excited again and inquire into your soul. Inquire about what you want. Ask it what is going to bring you to a space that is going to be better for you, right? If you allow, the moon can bring you back to you. It can bring you right back inside, right back into your center, right back into your authenticity and give you the clues that you need to move yourself forward in a better way. Now, you may remember some things about your past here and things about your past that have been long forgotten, things in your life that happened that you didn't remember about yourself, but they might give you confidence. There might be confidence keys that you lost, things about yourself that you had maybe when you were a teenager that you don't have anymore. Think back to those. Something's coming up here, maybe come up here that will help you with this, okay? This is about stepping into happiness and joy. Now, allow the ideas, thoughts, and discoveries to be birthed from within you. Step into beginner's mind here. Pretend you don't know any of it. I don't know, you're not your age. You're not all the things others have told you you are. You are now open to new possibilities. Allow this Gemini energy to give you beginner's mind. It's never happened before you're going to do it differently. In fact, if you can, find something different to do. Make that a thing because it will really help you to be in this energy and propel you forward in a much stronger way. Now, it's a communication sign, as I say. It really wants to bring ideas to the table. So people are awakening to the spiritual power within this energy. Um, and I know I've been banging on about this whole spiritual energy that's coming through for a while. Remember, it's cumulative, so it's happening over time. So we are still in that energy. It's a very paradox paradoxical space that we're in. The world is clamoring to keep up with itself while being kind of stuck in dichotomy, okay? Dichotomy. While being stuck in that energy, okay? It can go well with focus and meditation. So you be in a focus. Get the answers from within yourself, okay? Do some goal setting. What comes up for you? Ask yourself, what do I need to do? What do I need to focus on? And this will allow yourself to reflect and then you can move to a deeper understanding, a deeper understanding of who you are and where you're about to go. Gemini is kind of all in the head, okay? Um, and because of that, it's about getting this stuff out in, onto paper so you can really, really kind of run with it and create it, okay? Now, the theme for the rest of the year, kind of with the Scorpio, Taurus energy still being with us, um, will bring us into sort of breaking things down, um, looking at that next step. It's We're in a preparation stage, okay? And this is about using um, our mental energy to understand, all right? And understand that paradox that I was talking about, right? So if we stay focused and get really, really grounded, then we can come at this from a better space. Because if we get kind of up there too much, and we get two in our heads, we could get confused. This is why I said get it out on paper, get it out of your system so you can work with it, right? Uranus is in aspect to Aries, and this is highlighting freedom. And it's also linking to our higher mind, okay? Um, we are connecting to the cosmos. There's a lot of that going on, a lot of cosmic energy. The gateways are opening up. We're being called to listen to the universe, to connect to the universe, all right? Now, it's also in conjunction to Gemini's ruler, Mercury. And as Mercury is still retrograde, of course, that pullback is happening. Mercury is in a unique place of being very aspected by all, pretty much all the other planets, right? And Pluto is still in Capricorn, with, which is bringing that ideal around truth and power. Now, also remember that Capricorn's doing a very good job of dissolving the older systems that we've got and creating new systems and that's going to be with us for not necessarily that energy but the fact that we're moving out of this stuff is going to take a few years still anyway now pluto 
is the ruler of um, Scorpio, right? And the new moon is really calling us to use that energy to bring those traumas up, like I was saying before, to be powerful with that, right? Um, so we don't have to be stuck, all right? Now, there's a hard aspect between Mercury and Saturn. Um, how it, it can be a good thing um, if you step forward, okay, um, in a realistic way, because by the time we'll need that, but Saturn, by the time, will need it to be realistic because it's helping us to build something that's going to last. Saturn wants last ability. It wants things that are going to run the course of time. It doesn't want something that's just going to crackle and, and pop and then disappear. It wants a lot more than that. It's at 25 degrees, and this is about building new structures, new future, technology. What do you want? You know, what do you want? What are you choosing to bring into your day individually, right? be discerning and put boundaries around that as well boundaries around what you're going to put into your day um you know the, we can create safety by this using this energy we can create security using all of this what's available to us here um and it can bring us more success as well okay now mercury is 26 sextile neptune okay um and as, um, oh, and also Pisces is there as well. So there's a creativity, inspiration, spirituality. There's these highest values um, of unconditional love and what you want to tap into. You know, the codes are being downloaded. So, you know, step into co-creating your life. Remember, we're in Gemini. We're in the planet of the... Mani uh, sorry, the Mercury with Gemini and the manifestation energy. It's all about creating something more. Um, just remember... When you create an idea, you're then creating your life. Create your life rather than letting your life live you. It's something I was um, thinking a little bit about um, over the last few days, about how some of us let life live us. This isn't what's going to work anymore. You're going to have to start living your life and creating from a space of you -ness, right? of you, truly making those choices and making those inroads to see new things coming to light and new things birthing from the space of your creativity gemini will help you with that right so set intentions make a list create a vision board of what you want to see in your life right create goals and wishes of things that you want to happen for you you're going to meet the right people and opportunities will come to you so long as you step into this creating creating something when you're aligned with your goals your wishes are going to get closer to you. They're going to come closer to you, right? Now, you know, often new moons are kind of very receptive because they're in that very dark energy. Just remember with the Gemini new moon that there is this kind of go, go feeling to it. And it can be a bit alien because it's not normally like this. Now, remember to be very careful of that because we're in Mercury retrograde because it just wants to get things done. But be really careful of that wait to come slightly out of that wait to move gently out of that okay now remember what it wants it wants new beginnings it wants change it wants renewal it wants you to swing forward into the energetic frequency with gemini 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 with gemini with gemini at the helm and you're going to get clarity as you've never seen it before because gemini is the communicator it will help you to see things for how they ought to be so remember head yeah in the head but then remember bringing that out to get the clarity to create what you want and to understand it from a deeper level, right? Now, there's a deep feeling pulling at you and it could be drawing you out to go and make new connections. Um, what needs to happen next? Remember, this is all night communication. Gemini wants to chat so it's completely got it understood. It wants to know till it's got it really, really understood. Um, yeah, in this new moon, it comes on the wings of recalibration, of finding the right sources of information and people so you can step into what you need with understanding. You have to step into this with understanding. You have to really know what you're doing. And there needs to be people that can help you with this. So you need to reach out to experts with regard to how you're going to make this happen, okay? Now, with this moon as your guide, your intuitive sense is going to get very, very heightened, very awakened, and that will help you to follow the signs and the guidance that you need so that you can make the changes that are necessary for you right now. 
just remember give it a few days because the mercury goes direct on the 3rd of june okay so just remember that um of course like i say people do start things in that period um i don't <laughs> you know do what feels right for you um i would say to be a little bit more on the pause and reflect side but as i say if you look at my scorpio report on the page on the youtube page on self love self care system then you'll get an idea of what you can do in that energy all right so now allow this beautiful new moon in gemini to bring love in all right remember it's got that taurus scorpio a gemini energy you're whacking together remember this communication is asking you to really ask for help it's really asking you to speak out and to get this understanding that you need in order to move forward now follow your intuition more than anything really ask yourself what you need really step into that and ask yourself what's going to work for you now you know also be kind of really inquiring say what do i want to know what do i need to know ask yourself it ask yourself to give you that information what can i get from here what can i where can i go from here ask for that and you know think of all the things that you could do anything all of it everything that you can think of and write it down and bring it out so that you can really really create from this space because it is a really good moon for that because it's going to help you because of this communication element it's giving you that collaborative element because it helps you to work with other people you might get answers which you wouldn't have been able to find yourself from someone else and that is the gold of the gemini new moon anyway my lovelies i hope that has helped some of you take care of yourselves namaste everyone and i will speak to you soon lots of love see you soon bye bye everyone bye take care bye